We have got another two box nickel on today in our quest to complete this Dansko Jefferson nickel album. Hey everyone, it's Rob Finds Treasure. Welcome back to my channel. We have a two box nickel hunt today. And as many of you know, we're hard stuck after 153 boxes hunted for the Series 1 album. We just need that 1950D. After 53 boxes for the Series 2 books, we just need a 39S and a 50D as well. So I'm hoping that these two boxes in front of me, or at least one of them, gives us something for the album. If not, we'll take proofs, foreigns, varieties, Silver War Nickels, Buffaloes, you name it. All of those goodies I'm hoping to find. Now, in front of me, we have a box from Pennsylvania. And I want to thank Steve for the box trade. And then, of course, we have one of the boxes from my areas. This is going to be episode number 91. And the boxes are 154 and 155 for the first book. And 54 and 55 for the second book. If you'd like to start the entire playlist from the very first box, I do have that playlist linked both down below in the video description as well as pinned up here for your convenience. Now, you can see that this box got damaged in transit. He did a good job of taping it, but we didn't tape it the long way, so it split. I'll have to make sure it has all the rolls once I cut the top off, but I'm pretty sure it does because it seemed like it was just as heavy as a normal box. That being said, I will give you guys a look at the books at the end of the hunt when we compare the finds to the books to see if we have any upgrades or additions. But in the meantime, we're going to slide these out of the way and I'm going to get some scissors and cut the top of this box off. Let me go ahead and cut the top off and then we'll take a look at the enders after I get them reorganized. All right, we have got the box top taken off and I went ahead and reorganized the roll since we had about four rolls here loose. Judging by what I see, it looks like a pretty good mix of newer Jefferson designs as well as older Jefferson designs. Now, I don't know how well Steve does in Pennsylvania with his nickels, but I'll take any boxes to hunt for this series. You guys know the drill. As soon as I have a find, I'll bring it back in. And for those wondering, if you ever need any of my coin roll hunting mats, I always have links to all the mats I use in my videos, both down below in the video description as well as pinned up here for your convenience. All right. Let's get the hunt on, and hopefully, we find some goodies. We're going to have a find in roll number one of the box, because near the back of the roll, we have a 1946, looks like it's been cleaned, San Francisco. We'll take it, 46S, to kick us off. We're on roll number 17 of this PA box, and it's been a really slow box so far. We had that 46S in roll one, and we have not had any other Jefferson nickel finds since then, other than pulling aside a couple of more modern Jefferson nickels with Philadelphia mint marks, because I don't see them too often, and they're pretty nice shape. But I bring in because I grabbed roll number 17 out, and I didn't see it, but when I pulled the edges down, I think we have a Silver War nickel right there, so I figured we'd check together. And it looks like we do. A Philadelphia minted. 1943. So we'll go ahead and check it for that three over two over date, which I don't see. And we'll check it for that doubled I, which I don't see as well. But it is silver. I'll take that all day. And it's actually in pretty decent shape. So maybe it'll upgrade one of the 43 P's in one of the books. We'll have to see. Second find of the box is silver. Hopefully that's a good sign that it's going to heat up. Roll number 23 is going to give us our third 40s nickel of the box, and it's going to be a 1940 Philadelphia. Roll 24, another nickel from 1940. This time, I think there's a mint mark. There is. 1940, Denver. Same roll, and I flipped it around. It's the nickel right behind the last 1940, and it's another 1940. 1940, Philly. Roll number 26, our first nickel from 1941 from San Francisco. Roll number 30 is going to have our first nickel from 1942. A little tougher year to get. It is a transition year. Could be silver, but it doesn't have the silver look. 1942, non-silver, and no mint mark. 1942, Philadelphia will take it. And while I have you here, I think I spied a Canadian... And it's an older one for sure. 
1963 Canadian nickel. Can't get mad at that. Has the Laureate portrait on it. And that's going to be mostly made out of nickel, which is a nice find. Roll number 32 is going to give us the oldest Jefferson nickel we have found for the hunt. And it's going to be a 1939. We need a 39S, but we'll take any mint mark if it's there. And it's going to be a Philly. We'll go ahead and just check it for that DDR really quick. You would see it on the words five cents and on Monticello, which it is not. It is definitely a Philadelphia. And uh, we'll still take it even though it's not a key date. Roll number 33. Another 1940 Jefferson. Minted in Philly. Roll number 39 had an ender. And when I flipped it around, saw that it was a 1940. 1940. Philadelphia. Roll number 41 is going to coincidentally have a 1941. 1941. There is a mint mark, but there's some gunk. And it's an S. 1941S. Roll number 42. Another nickel from 1941. This time, Philadelphia. Roll number 44. And this time we have a nickel from 1940. Also from Philadelphia. Roll number 45. Yet another nickel from 1940. Again, from Philly. We're on roll 48 and I didn't film it, but we just found a pretty nice 1954 Philadelphia in the roll. But I bring in because in that same roll, we have another 1939 and another chance to see if it has a mint mark. And it doesn't. 1939 Philly. We'll check it for that DDR. It is not the DDR. It's definitely a Philly, but uh, we'll hold on to it. I keep all the 1930s nickels I find, and that's the second of the box. Looks like roll number 50 will give us a parting gift. Pretty ugly. 1947 Philadelphia. Well, we finished that Pennsylvania box, and you know what? After a slow start, I think we only had one find through the first 16 rolls. We ended up with 28 finds on the board. Nothing too exciting. The 54P was nice. We scored a couple of 39Ps, and of course, the war nickel, plus that 42P in pretty rough shape. On top of that, we got that Canadian nickel from 1963, which I'll take, and I did pull aside a lot of nicer Philadelphia-minted modern nickels up here to check against the book, as well as a pretty nice 1969 Denver to check against the book as well. Slow start, good finish, good box. Thank you, Steve. Now it's time to hunt my local box. Let me slide that out of the way. We'll slide this over. I've already checked. They're circulated nickels. Didn't see anything fancy as far as enders on the top 10 rolls, but that's all I've looked at so far. I'll be back if and when. We have a find in box number two of the hunt. Well, we're on the third roll of my local box and uh, looks like we're gonna have a scent hidden in it. And we do, and it looks zinc, so it means we lost four cents. And it is 2005, Philadelphia. Roll number 65 out of the 100 roll hunt. And we're gonna have our first nickel from 1949. 1949. Philadelphia. Roll 66. Another 1941 nickel. And I think there's a mint mark on it. And there is. 1941 Denver. Roll number 78 is going to give us our second Canadian nickel of the hunt. And this one's just going to be a 1987 with a beaver on it. Roll number 84 will give us our third foreign. And even though it has Queen Elizabeth II on it, it's going to be from Bermuda this time. We've got a five cents, 1980, from Bermuda with a fish on it. Oh, beavers don't eat fish. Same roll, another nickel from 1940. And I believe that might be a San Francisco again. And it is 1940S. Well, we're on roll number 87 and we found that penny earlier and lost four cents. Cracked open this roll, and I think we have a dime right here. And we do. So this time, we made five cents, and now we're up one cent on the hunt. Same roll. 
Got our second nickel from 1946, minted in Philadelphia. Roll number 88, I don't normally show the 50s fines, but I already checked it. It's a pretty nice 1951, and that mint mark is an S. 1951S is a semi-key date, so I will definitely take that. It's in decent shape. Not sure it'll upgrade. It does have a ding on the top right around 11 o'clock, but you know what? I'll take that all day. This box has had a 52S, a 52D, and a 51S, but no 1950 yet. Back to the hunt. Roll number 93 of 100, and we're going to have our second nickel of this hunt from 1942. Doesn't look silver, but it could be. And it's not. 1942, Philadelphia. Let's just double check to make sure there's not a mint mark. And there's not. 1942, Philly, yet again. Roll 95 had an ender, reverse face, and when I flipped it, saw it was a 1949. 1949, Philadelphia. Roll number 98. We were up a penny, but we just lost four more. It's another penny. This time, it's a 2000 Philadelphia, so we can actually check it for the wide AM, but it's not. 2000P, now we're down three cents for the hunt. Well, we finished that two box hunt, and even though we only got one more nickel, no buffaloes, and of course, no 1950D. It was still a good hunt. 28 fines in the first box, 20 in the second for a total of 40 fines, uh, not including the 12 cents over here. We actually lost three cents on the box because that should have been three nickels, but it's only 12 cents. At the end of the day, the fines of the hunt are going to be the three foreigns, a 63 Canadian, an 87 Canadian, and a 1980 Bermuda five cent. We got 239 P's, and then, of course, we got the 43P War Nickel in decent shape, semi-key date 51S with a slight ding on top, and a really nice 1954 Philadelphia. And I'm hoping at least one of these three upgrades at least one of the books. Speaking of the books, let me go ahead and compare the finds to the albums to see if any of these upgrade, as well as all of these nicer ones up here. And then I'll be back with a final look at the books with some final thoughts. Well, we have combed through the fines, and obviously there's going to be no additions this time, but we actually had four upgrades to the Series 2 book. The 90P, the 57P, the 54P, and the 1951S. All four of those nickels were used in the second set of books, which makes four upgrades, which makes the second set of books that much better. Unfortunately, the quest for the 50D that we need in both books, as well as that 39S, still continues. Hopefully, despite the lack of additions to the two books, you guys enjoyed this two box hunt. If you did, I'd appreciate that thumbs up. And as always, everyone, happy hunting and thanks for watching. Nothing yet again for the books, but a little something for the silver jar.